Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Sean. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe if you'd like to see more. I have loads of different types of videos on here. I'm sure you'll find something that you like. Today I have for you what I read in July. The first book I read is The Year I Met You by Cecilia Ahern. This follows the story of Jasmine who has sadly been fired from her job and she is on gardening leave and it's a really kind of warm story the characters are really largely likable but they're quite there's a lot of depth to them she's got a neighbor who is a radio tv presenter who is like shamed currently because of something bad that happened live on air and she's also got some lovely kind of old neighbours either side of her house and when she'd moved in she sort of ruined the garden. Basically because of how she left her job she has a year of gardening leave which if you have if you don't know is when you kind of can't take on a new job but you're not actually employed in your old job but they still kind of pay you just so you can't go and work for any competitors anything like that so this story follows jasmine trying to work out who she is what she should do with her life what she is doing with her life basically loads of big sort of life affirming questions she's got a bit of a dysfunctional family her dad is remarried with a young daughter and she has jasmine has an older sister who has down syndrome and so there's a real look into down syndrome and acceptance of people with disability there's also all sorts of things she notices which she previously wouldn't have noticed and it's a really lovely story and she meets someone in the end and it's not necessarily who you think it will be and it's a really nice read Cecilia Hearn as ever a really nice good read interesting good characters easy to read fun to read enjoyed it the second book i read is brit marie was here and this is by frederick backman and this was in my summer to be read and it follows the story of a woman who is ocd and possibly a few other things but she's very kind of anal about how she likes things done the products she likes to use she's an older woman and she has been with the same man kind of all her life she's always looked after people she hasn't ever really done anything for herself and she is shocked into change by not by her husband leaving her but by um the story on the news of an old lady who had died in a house and no one found her for like weeks and weeks and weeks so Britt Marie doesn't want this to be her so she goes to a temp agency and manages to get a job cleaning and she moves to this place called Borg and Borg is kind of like real down and out area of the city it's not a nice place there's a lot of dilapidation there's a lot of hopelessness um she makes friends there she becomes a football coach there she talks to a rat there's all kinds of stuff and it's quite an awkward book because she's quite awkward but it was really enjoyable and the characters again are really there's a real depth to these characters and you end up even though they're not necessarily the nicest characters in the world you kind of feel sorry for them because of their circumstances and because of how they're living and it's not exactly a place of hope and these children live there and the thing that gives them hope is football and Brit Marie is there to give that back to them and it's a really really enjoyable story and I'm not going to spoil the ending um but it it's just a really lovely story and just kind of a friendship of community of hopelessness of potential and a future and change I guess but this is a really lovely book it really really is the third and final book I read this month is by Siobhan Dowd and it's called Solace of the Road and this is the final book that I've read of hers. It's about a young girl called Holly who is in foster care and kind of being passed from pillar to post in different care homes, has done all of her life and it's about her finding out her story of how she became to be in care, what happened to her mother, what happened to her when she was younger, why her mum would have given her up but she kind of thinks, she believes that her mum said that she would come for her and so she's always kind of been waiting for her mum to come back and get her. It's the story of Holly running away and she adopts the name Solace and it takes her, she wants to get to Ireland and she goes from London, she goes through Oxford and which is where I was brought up so there's kind of all of these reference points that were 
that were meaningful for me and she then goes from Oxford through along the A40 to Brecon which is where my mum lives and she meets someone called Sean which is my name so there were all these kind of reference points and places that I recognised and that I could visualise in my mind whilst I was reading which really made a difference but it's a lovely lovely book and I won't spoil again what happens but Siobhan Dowd just wrote so beautifully and her books are incredible so I really 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 enjoyed this and I'd highly recommend that you read all of Siobhan Dowd's books I've read them all now and they are all absolutely brilliant and that's it I hope you've enjoyed this video if you have give us a thumbs up if you would like to then please subscribe and I will see you again soon all right bye